When you're trying to refresh your curls and you spray them with water, do you find that your hair frizzes? It's not just you. Sometimes after you spray it with the water, there's no fixing it. <laughs> then you have to wet your whole head down and start from scratch. Not anymore, my curlies. I'm here to teach you how to fix it without redoing your hair. Let's go. Hello my curlies, Erica here from Coils and Curls. Welcome back to another Frizz Free Friday. I got the best results over the weekend with Inner Sense Organic Beauty. So I hope everyone does decide to try at least a piece or two. If you use my link down below in the descriptions, if you are a first time customer, I believe you get 20% off of your first purchase. I also get a commission off of the sale, which I do appreciate because that allows me to keep focusing on making content for you. Gotta have an income somehow, right my curlies? <laughs> what I used in the InnerSense line, first I used the Detox Hair Mask. Now, this has charcoal, uh, kaolin, and white vinegar. One thing I love about their Detox Hair Mask is when you use a clarifier or a deep cleansing shampoo, your hair feels like straw when you rinse it out. Well, my hair feels silky after I rinse this out, and that's because it has shea butter in it. So it's not stripping your hair, but it actually feels clean when you rinse it. The other thing about the Detox Hair Mask is that the base fragrance might be sage and vanilla, but you can absolutely smell the patchouli and the Lang Lang oil that they use. I just love the smell. I just think it's fabulous. It's a little dark because of the charcoal, but the smell, oh my goodness, I love it. After I rinsed out the hair mask, I used the Hydrating Cream Hair Bath, which is meant for dry, thirsty hairs. And if you take a look at my hair, it's looking pretty thirsty, my curlies. Then I used the hydrating hair mask, left this on for about 10 minutes in the shower, and then I rinsed it out. Now, the thing with this, you know how when you rinse out conditioners, your hair starts to feel a little dry and not really like it's been conditioned? Yeah, this, when I rinse it out, my hair still feels conditioned and silky. Now that I'm all rinsed out, I decided I was going to apply my products in the shower like you're supposed to because your hair needs to be soaked. Especially because all of their products are concentrated, we add the water, not the company. So I flipped, I raked all my hair over, had a towel to dry my face because I was dripping into my face, of course. While I was flipped upside down, I applied the Quiet Calm Curl Control Cream. I used about two teaspoons for the back and the sides. After I raked that through, I did about another teaspoon for my top section. I flipped back real quick, raked that through my hair, and then flipped back over. Then because I wanted my hair to dry quickly, I decided I would use the new I Create Definition Styling Foam, which is their hard hold. I took two pumps, while I was still flipped over, I scrunched it in the back. And then I did one more pump, and that's how I did the sides and the top of my hair. Where I really need that extra control is on the ends, because the ends will frizz before anything else since they're older. More mature? They're more mature. <laughs> and that's why when I was applying the styling foam, that's why I was scrunching it in. This way the ends got covered and then I squeezed it all into the rest of the hair that requires less. I flipped over and didn't do much disconnecting. I kind of left a lot. I did it Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Four days. I wanted to wait until later in the week so that you really got a good look at number one, how well this held up. Doing a little work outside, nothing major, getting wind blown, sleeping, 
And number two, which is today's topic, is refreshing your hair when you can't use water. One of my subscribers had mentioned that she has fine hair and when she uses water to refresh, it makes her hair more frizzy. This happens. This happens to half the population while the other half can use water. It's all a matter of figuring out what combination your hair needs. I want to thank everyone who has been posing topics. I have written them all down and they will become videos as we go along. Let's jump into how do we refresh our hair when our hair frizzes with water? When I was using Diva, Mr. Wright was their refresher. It made my hair frizz. Other people had no problem. I had a problem. So it's a matter again of knowing what doesn't work and finding a different solution. But for someone who really doesn't know much about curls, then you're kind of lost. And like my subscriber, she has to wet her hair down every day and redo it because she can't find that combination. I am gonna show you different ways of refreshing your hair and fixing those wayward curls. Like this one here. <laughs> I was checking out some curls earlier. There was, oh, here it is. Here's this one, along with all of these frizzies. Look at all these frizzies. There's like nothing there. We're gonna fix it. And I'm gonna show you all the different ways especially if you have fine hair. <laughs> By the time I start recording, I'm telling you, it's late in the day. Don't forget, hit the thumbs up, thumbs up, please. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. If you hit the bell icon, you can get all notifications, and this way you'll always know when a new video posts. One of the first things to think about when you are trying to refresh your hair is your curls probably need moisture. Because curly hair is dry hair, it's losing moisture every second of every day. And when you sleep, some of that moisture is also depositing onto your pillow. That's why the first thing you should think about is how do I get moisture back into my curls and then how do I seal that moisture in? The first thing is if you have fine hair, you don't want to use a heavy conditioner. The first thing to try when you are a fine haired curly is adding moisture using the Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner. This is a very lightweight spray that's going to help put moisture back into the hair. I'm gonna start on my right side, which has less hair and show you how to do this. You're going to spray and smooth. As you can see, it looks much more hydrated now, not as dry and bleached out looking. Do you remember I showed you these? Now look at them. They're more defined and you might not need to add product, but you can see that it tamed the frizz. Now, of course, if you have fine hair, you're going to want to clip so that you don't drag your hair down while it dries. My trusty sectioning clips. Some people can get away just with using the Sweet Spirit leave-in conditioner. If you can't and you find that maybe your ends are still a little frizzed because the ends being the most mature, they need the most help. In that case, you can use the Serenity Smoothing Cream just on your ends. It's very light and creamy. You're going to emulsify and then you can just squish it. <laughs> There's my word. Just squish it into your ends very gently and then just hold it so that you're not making it frizz by scrunching, releasing, scrunching, releasing. You're holding it using your body. There you go. I could probably live with that. Now we're gonna move on. So let's say that your hair is a little thicker than my fur side. So your hair is going to require 
a little bit more hydration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Pure Inspiration Daily Conditioner. If you have fine hair, this would be the conditioner you would be using anyway. Put the conditioner in your hand, emulsify, and then spray with some water on your hand. And then this way, it's super thin. Now you can start sliding it over your hair. So you have to learn your hair, and yes, it takes some playing. It might take some cocktailing, especially if you have a few of the Inner Sense Organic Beauty products. They really mix well together. Whether you layer or you cocktail in your hand, there are a lot of alternatives. But the ends need a little more because these are longer. I will do another small pump. Whoops, and a little drippy. And you wanna smooth it in so that you're sort of closing the cuticle again because then you're going to hold and force that curl in. Some people can get away with just doing that. Then there are others who have slightly thicker hair, and especially if you're on day four like me, and let's say you've been refreshing, but now after four days, some of your hair is more frizzy than conditioner will help. You still wanna add a little bit of hydration, but now you may need to layer some product instead. Now, as with the thin side, if you see frizz and you wanna put in a little bit of the Serenity Smoothing Cream, you can do that. You just use it in moderation and you use it on the ends. This way, it's not dragging you down, but you're at least reducing the amount of frizz on the ends, which is one of the telltale signs that it's not first day hair. If you need a little more smoothing, you use a little bit of the Serenity Smoothing Cream. And that only over your ends. And use the praying hands so that this way you're helping to seal the cuticle, not raise it. Look at that cute little curl. <laughs> and then we'll see what it looks like after it dries. But now we are going to move on to the back where there's more hair. Your hair might be a little thicker in the back because there's twice as much. What you wanna do is make sure the part of your head that has the most hair has more product. Because the back is not so frizzed, it really just needs some shine and some refreshing. Because there is more hair in the back, I'm going to use the I Create Volume to help add some moisture and some volume to my flat back. And it's very thin, so you don't need a lot. So I'm going to smooth this into the top. I'm also going to put some right on my fingertips so that this way I can get at the scalp to help give a little more lift with the product. So now take a look. I have some volume up at the crown now, and there's definition. The bottom is the oldest, it's the longest, and it's the frizziest. We're going to need to add moisture. Product alone will not fix that. You will definitely need conditioner, some kind of hydrating cream, but if you have fine hair, you don't wanna weigh it down. That's why we're working with all of these lighter products today, specifically for volumizing. I'm going to use two pumps of the Pure Inspiration and I'm going to mix it with water. I'm going to put the water on after I smooth the conditioner in. Reason being is it's gonna drip too much and that's a pain in the butt. So, two. If your hair is finer than mine and doesn't have as much density, use one pump. You don't have to use exactly what I'm using. You have to use in the amount that's best for you. Two pumps, 
I'm going to take the hair from the underneath because that's where most of the frizz is going to be. What does it look like? Better? Now what we're going to do is we are going to add a little bit of water with our spray bottle. Hopefully at this point you won't frizz because you've added the moisture. So the water should not open up the cuticle of your hair, which is what makes it look frizzy. Don't forget to get to those underneath areas where you did put conditioner. Otherwise you're gonna feel very sticky and tacky. The water kind of helps to open up the cuticle and allow the moisture to get in. This is a way to bypass adding the water because if the water has too high of a pH, it opens up your cuticle and that's what makes our hair frizz. The higher pHs opens the cuticle. Because we've put in some conditioner and we've put in some water, you will probably need to add a little bit of product, especially because it's at the bottom, which means it'll look frizzy. What I'm going to do is use the iCreate volume. This way I am helping to seal the hair so I don't lose my moisture, but it won't weigh me down because it is specific for volume. It comes out with barely squeezing the bottle. And then we're just going to smooth it over the ends. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna hit everything with some heat. When we come back, we're gonna take a close look at everything. I'll be back. I'm fully dry, my clips are gone. And now what we're going to do is we're going to decrunchify, decrunchify right there, as well as add some shine. If you have very fine hair, you will use maybe one to two drops of oil. Those of us with a higher density hair, we can use a little bit more, especially if our hair is drier and colored. I'll be using the iCreate Shine, which has the beautiful lotus flower smell. I'm gonna start with three for my fine side. Adds nice shine, removes the crunch that we get after our products dry. We'll do four for the heavier side. Maybe a little frizz, but we'll know when we look closer. I'm gonna do about six or seven for the back. I'm going to flip, I'm going to fluff, and then we'll see what needs to be done. So we have some volume, but the question is, do we have frizz? <laughs> and that's what this is all about. So let's take a peek. I'm gonna show you some side-by-sides. This was the side that had the Sweet Spirit and Serenity Smoothing Cream. This is the side that we had the Pure Inspiration Daily Conditioner and a little bit of the Serenity Smoothing on the ends. In the back, we had the Volume Foam and the underneath, we had the conditioner along with a little bit of the I Create volume. And that was just to add that extra hold at the bottom without adding too much heaviness. Because when you have fine hair, you have to use the lighter products so that you don't weigh your hair down. Now, when you're working on second, third, fourth day hair, sometimes you might get a little flat, you might lose that oomph. That's when you bring in I Create Lift Volumizing Foam. You can use this on dry hair. Put it on your fingertips, emulsify it. I'm going to put some up at my crown. I want you to watch this. Now, I am just doing it on the base of my hair. I am not rubbing it into my scalp. Do you see the difference? Isn't that incredible? Now we'll do, do this side since this is my weaker side. Here, I think I'm still wet. Oh, I'm still wet. <laughs> Oops. That's why it's not getting as much volume as it should. So let's show you on the other side. You gotta do what you gotta do. 
So lean over, get your fingers in there. Definitely ruffle those cuticles and those feathers. <laughs> and look at that. I would probably stick a clip in just to help a little while it finishes settling. So my curlies, this is how we refresh hair when water makes you frizzy. Usually when your hair is frizzy, it's because it's lacking moisture. So the first thing you need to do is to add the moisture before the product. They work hand in hand. This is fourth day hair. And this combination really seemed to work very well for me. If you don't like the feeling of product in your hair, you wouldn't be happy because you feel like you have product, especially because of the I create definition and it being that firmer hold. I'm going to do one more flip and fluff and see if I can get it a little better. Oh, that worked. And definitely worked. Now, my hair wouldn't look as holish because <laughs> it really looks like there's a lot of light from behind. That's because my hair is thinner. <laughs> I think I'll have to start shutting the shade again because I don't like seeing my hair like that. So my curlies, this is how you get volume, you reduce your frizz, and you look fabulous. I would really love to know how all of these tips worked for you. So please leave a comment down below. Let me know, did this option work for you? Not using the water first, not using water at all. Maybe we finally found your solution. If I didn't find your solution for you, let me know that too. And I'll do another video and we will tackle those problems. This way my curlies embrace their curls. <laughs> Don't forget, Pass me around to everyone you know, like a nice piece of cake. This way we can convert those people who are straightening their hair, let them embrace their curls for a change. Maybe I've prevented you now from having to redo your hair every day. Maybe now it'll be every two or three days. Well, my curlies, this has been another Frizz Free Friday. Thanks for joining me. I am going to be taking off next week, but I will be back May 5th with a new video, my curlies. Ciao for now. Mm -hmm. Okay. First, I used the detox hair mask. Or should I do this side? Yes. As well as all of the inventor in as well as all of the inventor environmental <laughs> including all of the environmental do you find that your hair frizzes one of the first things to think about when you one of the first things to think about when you're root but the first one is the sweet spirit Take a clip in. Excuse me.